Oh no, my shirt came off. Hey guys, it's Austin and Stacey. We're here at the Emporium Antiques and Collectibles. We're about to host the first Central Valley Creatives Meet of the year at Railtown. We figured we'd stop in Jamestown really quick first. Beautiful, small little city that has a lot of awesome gems like this. Uh, last time Stacy and I were here, we actually got their root beer floats and they were really delicious, so we're gonna go get those again. It is really good. They are super delicious. I hope the lady, is, the same lady is still there. She was really nice. I hope so. We'll be right back. Now uh, you have one more, please. Just for the, you, want oh, you want two. Do you want one, Stacey? Or um, no? Yes. Yes, yeah, please. Okay. Can we get another one, please? Thank you. I got root beer floats. Oh, your arms in the way. Is that Christmas? Oh, it's sweet. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. And uh, yeah, one more, please, just for. Uh, all you want, want too. You want one, Stacy, or not? You gonna try yours, Stacy? Yes. You know what I do? I never actually have the ice cream with the root beer. I always drink the root beer and then eat the ice cream. So it kind of defeats the purpose. I think that's what everyone does, honestly. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, is it? I don't know. Some people were like, wait for the ice cream to melt. Is that Give where it you- a sippy sip. Oh, I put it right in the ice cream. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good, good. Yes, now you gotta open this so I can eat the ice cream. Nice. Uh, so yeah, never thought you would get the best root beer float from an antique shop, but... Alright, so we just finished our root beer floats. We were sitting at this table right here. I was actually pretty cold, so I had to run and get my jacket. I'm still cold, so... I don't know. This is all I brought, though. Best root beer floats I've ever had. But at what cost? It was like six fifty. And uh, hypothermia. Oh, you got it too. I thought you were warm blooded. I'm warm blooded, but goddamn, man, it's ice cream and like fifty degree weather. So it's worth it. Though. It doesn't look. Or it doesn't. It honestly doesn't look like fifty degree weather, but because like the sun's out and everything. These are. A lot of these are just like antique shops, so it has a lot of small little things. Here's a clothing store. It's a small little park right here. Jamestown Museum. That's dope. Ooh, I think there's like a hotel here as well. I think it's up there. All right, so we're here at Railtown. We're That's like not an a metaphor, hour by early. The way. It's not a metaphor. We're like an hour early for the meet, but we're gonna find the bathroom and then I don't know, walk around before people come. Thank you. Thank you. Hi vlog, we're here now. We're gonna host a photo meet in a few we've, minutes. Yes, we've been here, but. B-roll time, baby. He's gonna be doing the B-roll, because he loves B-roll. Making me do all the hard work. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hello, I'm vlogging. Hi, Hi nice to meet you. how are you? Thanks for coming out. Yeah, of course, hey! hey. This is a very, <laughs> at least from what I could tell, like obscure-ish park. Like, not a whole lot of people know about it, you know. It's under the radar, which is nice. Alright, so we're gonna go see the roundhouse right now. <laughs> Wait, are we gonna go see the roundhouse right now? Yeah. We're gonna go and go to the roundhouse. Apparently, they're closing all the facilities at three. Wait, what was the guy in the wheelchair's name again? He was Walter. I hope I see. Maybe we'll see Walter. Maybe I don't know. I hear it. 
It says, I need a... Uh, These trains. Uh, okay, I remember taking the photos of Walter, like, right here. This is, like, my third day here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, no worries. That, but, but it's, it's I don't know what the gold rush, but as far as the, the trains go, it was okay, 1897. Hi, Walter. when it was... <laughs> Starting to get, it was when they started to put the trains in here and they were using it for shipping lumber across from here to Oakdale. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a cute little way. Okay, so it was more like a. Uh... Over there, we call it a beast. Oh, that's your favorite one. Huh? This one? That was not my favorite. That was my favorite. I love the trains. It's 102 tons. It's a monster. That's our everyday engine. We use it all summer. Uh, we use it every Saturday, so I need to remind these things so they come to the Anyway, that's your plan, baby. <laughs> I like Steve. I'm old. So this is classic consolidation. Oh, wow. The last big movie was made was Back to the Future 2. No kidding. Yeah. Now, it was born. <laughs> March 3rd, 1891. Oh, wow. Still runs. We got border tube problems now. They got to put new border tube in. But it still runs. It runs off one motor, one belt. They are all belt driven. When they built this, Paul and the county, we didn't have electricity. So they ran it with a water wheel. They had a lake up in the hill, and the water wheel was outside that class. And they, and they turned all this stuff with a water wheel. I don't know how many of these motors the water wheel could run, but electric they could run them all. Nobody oh. got electric. These guys did this stuff by hand. <laughs> you imagine? Now, this little thing, that's called the Velocipede. Okay, we just finished the tour with Walt, really nice gentleman that I was talking about. Yeah. Do you want to go back to the front to make yeah, sure the others know where we are? Let's okay. Back to the front and... We can walk this way. This way, this is actually yeah. a nice area. Some full machinery here. <laughs> he said he's 84. Yeah. Yeah. Looks yeah. well, good for 84. The uh, park and the trains and stuff. Oh, yeah. We took a photo here that I still never got. It's over here. It's blurry. <laughs> And here they filmed, was it Back to the Future, what was it? Back to the Future 3 was filmed in this area, which is pretty cool. Has all the names, like movie names right here. Also, we need to retake it here. Yes. This is a good lighting. Heavy. This is a good lighting. This is fun, fun day. Look at me. I'm gonna go grab the others, okay? And we made sure that everyone Matt everyone got tickets and everyone met Walt and we got the full on tour of everything. Super cool. Definitely coming back here to do a train ride and we will gladly vlog it for everybody. Yes. I'm I'm honestly glad we're doing it here because then it's like we're supporting the place. And honestly, it's a dope place to have a photo shoot. What else is here? Having some fun. We have some really awesome spots here. Um it's just gonna be a great area. Go ahead and check out some of the B-roll, it's gonna be sick. The rest of our group is over here on this dock. We're getting ready to go meet up with them again. My friends. <laughs> we were wondering where you guys were. I know. We've been thinking that too. We're not got off the thing yet. She's a little bit cold, but we'll. So far down here. <laughs> got the group back. Join the fun. That's a really cool dress. Yeah. Hey, ladies, you know what? Chicken ranch is like five minutes away. Yeah. You guys are. Stacy, class opposing. I don't know, I have to learn more about myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so good with posing. Oh, oh my gosh. And I'm just like, what do I do? Wow, you're awesome. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah,
crazy that the water filled up. Well, that makes sense after the rain. Yeah, but. that's true. Okay, so we just shot some portraits over at the station. Now we're moving over here, but so far, great turnout, great meet. This location is absolutely incredible. The people that work here, super, super nice. Um, I'm definitely gonna come back here. I know Stacy and I wanna come back to actually ride some of the trains. Right now, none of them are running, but that's because this is the park's off season. So when they start doing more train rides, Stacy and I'll definitely come back here. Um, I'm thinking about becoming a member of the park. I think Stacy might want to as well. But regardless, we're definitely going to come back and do some more things here. All right, so we're here in Sonora getting some food with some of the, peop from the, the people from the front of me. I can't talk. I'm just so Hey guys. Oh. Hey. Oh, how cute is yeah, so we're getting some pizza. I'm gonna watch the 49ers game because thank God they have a TV in there. Um, yeah. Back in Sonora, so see you guys later. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, we had a great meet. We went to go see the 49ers versus the Dallas Cowboys. The 49ers won. At a restaurant. At a restaurant, kind of a bar, but we didn't drink anything and we got Dutch Bros on the way back to Modesto. So go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more videos. We will be uploading more and more vlogs and probably some stuff like gear reviews and other things like that. Um, go ahead and subscribe to Stacy Chow and Austin Cloud on YouTube. Those are our private channels for our own separate vlogs. We do have different lives outside of Austin and Stacey. So go ahead and check those out too. Um, but yeah, anyway, have a great day. See you guys.